Stanford, mình cũng là học sinh Summit và trong kỳ TOEFL mình đã đạt điểm số là 119 trên 120 với điểm nói là 29 trên 30. Hôm nay mình muốn cùng các bạn làm thử một bài nói của TOEFL để xem ban 29 trên 30 suy nghĩ của TOEFL thì nên làm như thế nào. In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Now listen to part of a lecture on this topic in a theater studies class. So, uh, for example, back when I was in college, one of my roommates, Richard, was in a play I went to see. And when he first walked out on stage, I have to admit I was a little distracted. Richard was dressed up like an old man. I could tell that his hair was colored gray and he was pretending, you know, to be older. So he walked more slowly the way an older person would. But at first, I only saw him as my roommate dressed up to look like an older man. But then, as the play went on, I began to think of him less as the guy I lived with and more as this older man who was a father, one who had worked very hard for his family, uh, the family in the play. And in the play, the father gets sick and so is out of work which, you know, caused me to become a little sad. And because of the father's long illness, the family was worried that they wouldn't have enough money to pay the bills. And this made me feel worried, too. Well, in the end, what happened was the family all came together and everyone found jobs and started working. They all pitched in to help in the time of crisis. So the family gets by and pays their bills. And soon after, the father recovers from his illness. And this made me feel relieved and even rather happy. Explain how the example from the lecture illustrates the suspension of disbelief. Begin to prepare your response after the beep. In the reading, we read about the suspension of disbelief, which is the ability to temporarily put aside or suspend all doubts and believe that the action of a play is real. In the lecture, the professor wanted to become emotionally involved with the events and the characters to enjoy a play that his roommate took part in. To do so, he had to forget that the play is staged and believe in everything that the play states as reality. As such, he was able to think of the characters in the play as fellow humans and was able to respond emotionally to what was going on in the play, which helped him enjoy it even more. Dùng liên từ để đánh dấu rõ ràng phần tóm tắt bài đọc và phần thông tin từ bài giảng. Chủ yếu dành thời gian tóm tắt lại thông tin trong phần nghe, giảm thời gian nói thông tin trong bài đọc, vì phần nghe sẽ được đánh giá cao hơn. Sử dụng cấu trúc câu phúc để diễn đạt thông tin xúc tích, giúp quản lý thời gian tốt hơn. Đừng quên thay đổi đối tượng người nói là The Professor, he, chứ không phải mình là người nói trực tiếp đâu nhé. In this question, you will listen to a short lecture. You will then be asked to summarize important information from the lecture. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Listen to part of a lecture in a biology class. So, we know animals in many climates have to develop strategies, um, ways to protect themselves when the weather becomes especially hot and dry in the summers. Let's start talking about how one small creature, a snail, can do this. Now, as you know, a snail is a very small creature with a soft, moist body, most of which is protected by a hard shell. A snail is a good example of an animal that has developed certain strategies for coping with high temperatures and drought or lack of water. First, to avoid the heat, when the sun comes out, snails move into the shelter of vegetation, um, you know, plants or leaves, to get out of the sun and into the shade. Now, of course, the ground can become very hot in the sun. 
It absorbs and radiates heat, so snails will move up off of the ground to places where it is cooler. They may attach themselves to a wall or a tree where it is cooler than on the ground. Now, it's not just heat that snails need to worry about. They also need to avoid drying out due to lack of water. So, during a really warm, dry day or during the summer months, snails secrete a sticky, slimy substance、um, made up of、uh, calcium, and it covers the opening of their shell. Uh, covers and closes it up. This keeps the moisture inside the shell and prevents the snails from drying out. Snails can stay inside their shells closed up like this for a long time, even several months if it's a really dry summer. Their bodies, well, everything slows down, and so they don't need food. They can survive on what food they've stored up. But when it rains and water is available again, The snail opens up its shell to get. Using the examples from the professor's lecture, explain how snails survive in hot and dry climates. Begin to prepare your response after the beep. In the lecture, the professor explains how snails survive in hot and dry climates. First, to avoid the heat, when the sun comes out, snails move into areas of vegetation to find shade. As the ground can reflect the heat from the sun, the snails also have to move up to cooler places to avoid this. Second, they have to fight off dehydration. As such, snails have a special sticky substance made of calcium that helps keep moisture inside the shell. This in turn helps the snail survive for months on end while waiting for a rainy season or for its source of food. Giải thích rõ khái niệm học thuật xuất hiện trong bài giảng ngay ở câu đầu tiên vẫn sử dụng đa dạng các loại câu phức khác nhau để diễn đạt thông tin hiệu quả. Lưu ý sử dụng một số cụm động từ kèm giới từ một cách chính xác. Ví dụ, come out, move up, fight off, made of, wait for. Toàn bộ thông tin chi tiết cần được tóm tắt đầy đủ trong phần trả lời của bạn.